This lesson will focus on direct proportion from the broad general education. Two quantities are said to be in direct proportion if, as one quantity increases, the other quantity increases in the same ratio. Example 1. Five cars have a total cost of £48,250. What would the cost of seven identical cars be? In our first example, we want to find the cost of seven cars. Now, we've been given the fact that five cars have a total cost of 48250 To find any other quantity, the best thing that we want to do is always just find out the value of one thing. Once you've got one thing, you can calculate anything. So I want to find the value of one car. So five cars cost £48,250. If I want to find the value of one, I'm just going to divide by five. Five divided by five gives me one. Whatever I do to the left, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the right. So I'm going to divide this by five. So we've got 48250 and I'm going to divide by 5. So the value of one car will be £9,650. Now that I've found one, I can find absolutely anything. In this instance, we're looking for seven cars. So to go from 1 to 7, we simply multiply by 7. Whatever we're doing to the left, we're going to do the exact same thing to the right. So let's take the 9,650 and we'll multiply that by 7. So that gives me an answer of 67,550. So let's just bring it all together. So therefore, it costs... Put your pound symbol in. 67,550 pounds. Example 2. Nine single train tickets cost £29.25. Find the cost of four single train tickets. In our second example, we've been given the cost of nine train tickets at £29.25 and we want the cost of four. So this is in direct proportion. As one thing increases, the other thing will increase. So let's just find out the value of one ticket to begin with. After we get one ticket, we can then easily find four tickets. So to go from nine to one, I'm simply going to divide by nine. Whatever I do to the left, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the right. So I'll take my calculator, I've got 29 pounds and 25 pence, which I will divide by nine. Press my S to D button, and that means that one ticket is costing me £3.25. Remember, this is money, so if the calculator doesn't give you two decimal places, please make sure that you always add two decimal places for me. Okay, that might mean adding a zero one, but it has to be in two decimal places for money. We've now got the value of nine tickets, oh, excuse me, for one ticket. So let's now find four tickets. So to do that, we multiply by four, whatever we do to the left, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the right, I'm gonna multiply that by four. Take your calculator, multiply by four. So the final answer is 13, and as we just mentioned, let's put in our decimals. So therefore, four tickets cost 13 pounds.